In this video, you're going to learn about prototypes and how to set prototypes up. We won't be creating anything complex with sophisticated interactions and a complicated structure. Quite the opposite, actually. The goal of this video is to show you what prototypes are and help you understand the very basic logic of this feature. So it would be a good way to start to first go over what prototypes actually are. So prototypes are basically a preview of your designs. Their goal is to imitate the final product, an app or a website. That does not mean that prototypes will actually look like the final product. In fact, there are varying degrees of completion of these prototypes, let's say, where sometimes you want to demonstrate only the basic structure of an app, and sometimes you want to show the final product the imitation of the final product in its full detail, including icons, colors, images. Prototypes don't necessarily have to be this sophisticated, and you can have something what's called a low fidelity prototype as well as high fidelity prototype. The more high fidelity something is, the closer it is to the actual final product. So if you ever heard the word wireframe, wireframe could actually be considered a low fidelity prototype. And these prototypes in Figma are based on frames. So if you want to create a prototype, you present your design on frames. And usually you have multiple frames with various interactions where you can go back and forth through frames. So an example of a prototype would be, let's say, we will start here on this screen, click a button, go to this screen and then use another button to return back. So just very simple, two frames going back and forth. Let's see how this is set up. So we have to actually create the button. We have a screen where it says page one and go to page two, a button that says go to page two. And then we will create, we'll copy this, we'll just actually just select that, press Command C and Command V, and we'll just modify this to say page two and then go back to page one, right? And so we now need to define that when you actually click this object, that will take you here. And when you click this object right here, it will take you back. So to do that, we will select this object, then go to prototype. And then you can see this little circle right here it shows a plus when you hover over it. You click and drag that over to the second screen until it snaps, right? You get something called interaction details. Here we have the trigger. So th this says that when you click it, it will navigate to screen two, right? That makes sense. It, the change will be instant. And then on the second page, I'm going to select the button. Again, go to the circle right here and then click and drag and snap it to the first one. Again, on click, navigate to screen one. And so what happened here? Right now, when we are in the prototype panel, we have these two arrows. These symbolize the interactions. And we also have something called flow one. So Figma, when, you will actually, when we will actually launch this prototype, this is where it will start. And how you actually launch a prototype? Well, once there is a prototype ready, you simply click this play button that says present. This will open a loading screen and you will have this. We have page one, go to page two. We click it and we are on page two. Now we can go back to page one. You can then share this with your client, share this with your stakeholders, and they can open this and, you know, click through. Obviously, this is just very, very basic and um, just to show you how it works. And the people you share this with will be able to see this, what you see here. Now, usually these get way more complicated. I do have a few tutorials on my channel where I create, for example, a sidebar navigation menu. So definitely go check it out if, you, if you'd like to learn more in depth about this. But uh, when you're on page two, and let's say you didn't, you know, not always will there be a button that will handily take you back. Sometimes you will encounter something where you cannot return back to the initial position, but when you need to do that, you simply press R. R as in restart, where that will take you back to the initial frame. It even says restart R right here. And the flow, the interaction, you know, the experience start on screen one, but of course we can remove that from screen one and add that to screen two. So now it will start here. When we launch this again, we will start on page two. Congratulations, you created a 
prototype. In practice, these of course get way more complex with many frames or with sophisticated interactions and more complicated layouts, usually meant to show the final app, the final website, the final product. But this is kind of the basic underlying principle when you want to do something like this. I hope this has been useful. If it was, I would appreciate you leaving a like. If you want me to cover more specific use cases, if you want me to go more in depth and maybe you have an idea, what would you like me to design? If there's anything you struggle with in terms of prototyping, let me know in the comments below and I will keep that in mind. If you're interested in learning Figma, make sure to check out my channel where I do plenty of tutorials on this powerful app. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.